the uh, Sandman van and uh, happy Easter everyone uh, last I left off I went ahead and uh, just basically put one coat of paint on uh, the Sandman basically an orange color I'm trying to find a uh, it's supposed to be orangey red and and uh, I really couldn't find one that was uh, it was either like really dark or it was basically uh, it just didn't look right. So what I did is uh, I sprayed the whole thing orange, and I'll probably go in with a like a mist of red just to just to get a you know just a little flavor of the orange red color. But it'll pretty much be a orange color, and it'll look uh, it'll look like it once you uh, you know get the mask off, get the uh, luggage rack on, everything. It'll look like in the picture. Uh, but anyway, I got uh, one light coat on. You can see I got to go back in and. Uh, you know spray on the uh, sides here you know because uh, you gotta always flip it upside down and paint it uh, especially you can see the edges there you gotta get that but I think we are uh, pretty darn good uh, for the second coat uh, there's a couple flaws on it I really can't help that it's just uh, I mean if I built a static model uh, I probably could but RC I think this will be just fine Anyway, I got to go back in and uh, uh, put the luggage rack on, and I got to go uh, fill in just a few little areas around the uh, tubes here. Uh, couldn't see it when it was uh, solid white, but we can see it now since it's orange, and uh, we should be uh, should be good to go on. Uh, put another coat on. You can see where the green's showing through. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll take care of that. Sandman van's getting uh, some paint job. So anyway, painted the uh, uh, gold uh, trim, if it will, as it were. Uh, painted it silver. Uh, I was going to get the. Uh, it had a sticker license plate, but that about tore off my fingernail. So uh, I uh, I left it on and uh, painted over it. So we're going to say that I did that because my fingernail is still hurting from trying to get that off. Uh, the luggage rack got it painted silver. So we are good to go on that. I'm going to, uh, I got to basically wait for this to dry uh, today. And then I can put it back on the car after I get the car painted. And then I'm going to take some five minute epoxy. We're going to take Mr. Uh, luggage rack here. And then we're going to uh, five minute epoxy it. And let that sit for a day. And should be good, strong, and sturdy. And uh, we should be good to go on that. So anyway, Sandman Van. Uh, taking shape uh, the hammer phantom I I'm gonna take a little uh, little me time today and I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna do a little do some painting I'm kind of in the mood to paint and uh, I think I will since it is Easter and I just have a, a little fun time anyway we'll get get more on him in just a moment uh, little jihadi I just gotta I'm, I'm gonna probably work on him next week I want to uh, decide on the uh, uh, brick wall and everything he's you know, it, it pretty much it'll go faster once I get uh you know everything uh, where I want it, and uh, we'll just we'll continue on with a little jihadi uh, very shortly. The incinerator helmet. I don't know if the lights can show it. Uh, I went in with uh, uh, some silver paint, and I just did some minor chipping. I didn't, you know, I like weathered stuff, and sometimes I don't like it too weathered, you know. But if you can see where uh, some of the little chipping is. And it's one of them. I uh, try to I try to make it very subtle, where it's uh, you know, uh, pictures may not show it, but uh, you know, once you get up on it, you can actually see it. And it's just uh, silver paint, which I like to use natural steel. Take a uh, sponge here, which you can get you know in the uh, I call it the kitchen department in the kitchen cleaning aisle at your local department store. Uh, I like to. Uh, uh, spread out the sponge of course I use a palette on the table just dip it on and get get all the excess off and just go in and uh, and it makes it random and just do uh, chipping around the edges and everything and I try to get in different places like through uh, if you can actually see it through the sides here I did some on the top you know it's just a little bit here and there all throughout I uh, tried not to do too much on the white I did get the blue in uh, on the side here. Just I basically did a, a very light blue little wash and just put it in, wiped it off, and we are good to go. Sealed it with a uh, polyurethane and uh, excuse me, not a poly uh, a matte 
varnish. It's got the little uh, satin varnish. Uh, just to give it a little bit of shine and a little bit of uh, weathering. But anyway, I think it turned out uh, great. And I need to do a video of it really quick here because uh, uh, it's pretty much uh, already sold. So I'm going to go and uh, get that off the workbench. It's very fun. I like uh, I like doing one-offs like this. It's just uh, cures the, uh, you know, finishing a, something quick and easy. And it's just... Uh, Ah, just it's just fun and hopefully if I find some more I will do some other ones because the incinerator troopers from the force unleashed and uh, there's a there's one with a blue stripe that's over one eye I'll probably do him uh, next or if I find something else or I may do a shock trooper since uh, you know they got red on them as well but anyway I think he turned out pretty darn slick and for a scaled uh, replica I think pretty darn cool but anyway that's what I've got going on today on this Easter Sunday finished up the uh, incinerator trooper I'm uh, gonna get back on mr. jihadi there uh, the Sandman man getting some paint and then uh, this afternoon we'll work on uh, the hammer phantom so that's what we got going on today so stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode